What's up, everyone? Welcome to another edition of Theron's Thoughts. My name is Theron Shetty. These are my thoughts. Hope you guys are doing well. I'm doing fantastic. I'm sitting here on this Florida lanai. Just living my best life. Um, I have not done comedy in about a week. Uh, just, I have no book spots till like end of March. And I was like, I don't want to be around shitty comics or watch horrible comedy. I just don't. And I was like, that's fine. But, you know, I was talking to a friend of mine in L.A. And, you know, this got me really thinking about an interesting perspective. And I could be totally off here, but there's a small group of comics, which every L.A. comic knows. But, like, it's almost like they're like hustlers. They do each other's podcasts and they're very popular. But there's like this thing where, like, you talk to them and you're not really talking to them. You're talking to, like, like this facade of them. Like, hey, how are you? And, you know, but they're kind of measuring you up, right, to see, like, where you are, and and it's very disgusting, but I've only encountered that, I mean, I've, I've encountered that in the acting world, too, but there's this one guy there, and my friend was telling me, yeah, he doesn't like taking photos with people who he thinks are underneath him, you know, because he doesn't want to put that out on social media, or people that share photos, like, he wants to, you know, be part of this certain echelon of comedy, and I was just thinking, I was like, dude, that's so just <laughs> unbelievable to me, because, you know, I, I take photos of everybody. Like, I don't I couldn't care less. But it sounds unreal, but that's what showbiz is, right? Like, like it's like the self-centered thing. Like, for example, I fit in very well in the corporate world, right? Because I'm, I'm a good worker. I show up. You know, I know to shut up. I know how to get along with people. But in show business, it's like you have to have this personality of, like, being able to just be a shark almost, maneuver, and be kind of cutthroat. And I was thinking, I was like, I don't have that. You know, I don't know how to navigate those waters. It's not in me. I'm not like, sorry, I'm not like some conniving asshole. So I was just thinking about this because you don't know this stuff when you were like 20, right? Or 19, whenever I started. Like, you don't know this, but I'm seeing this very clearly now. And I was like, well, am I just wasting my time just going to these clubs if I'm never going to be able to uh, climb the rankings of comedy, you know? not being able to play that game. Anyways, this is something I just observed in general. I think I think uh, show business, you know, it attracts broken people. And unfortunately, uh, it's a system that works, right? Like if you can play the game properly and if you have mediocre talent, you can rise. Uh, I've seen it happen. If you know the right people, you hang out with the right, do the right podcast, you know, whatever. Like, you can get out there and and be very successful and make a good living. So when I go back to L.A., I was like, should I even do stand-up out there? I mean, maybe I'm just wasting my time. So that's why I'm sticking around in Florida just a few more weeks. I was like, let me just get centered before I go back and uh, figure out what the next move is. Hey, I hope you guys have a great weekend, and we will talk soon. Take care.